Well, it's certainly a risky proposition, though, for Greg Vanny, and I can understand why he would choose not to risk Juvinko. But it will be tempting because Toronto FC have been playing well today. Jackson, if you're in, Here, Caldwell now. Kofi needs a shout, holds on to it. Now, Watson. Great composure by Kofi. Watson, good look across for Ray. Who has the ball? How well is that? As the ball is recirculating, comes to Kofi. He rolls out. Altador throws it him down. The ball comes, pops out, I believe it's to Watson. Watson dicks it. Far post. And watch this. This has got class. Sam looking for the run of Veron. Two in the box. Question. ahead by Kappelhoff first. By Cabrera, little room. It's Gilberto. Goosen's on his right. Iguananike on his left. Now latching on to this Kennedy Iguananike. Kennedy Iguananike opens up the scoring. A great ball from Alvarez out of the back. And you know Cabrera is going to bite. And we talked about it. If you get that initial ball coming in and then looking for deeper runs. And if you can get some on in situations like that where you can go at him one on one. What a great finish. Great finish by Iguananike here. There's again. Looks at the back post. Right by Diego Fagundes. Back heel for Taylor. Taylor not able to turn and shoot. And there's an effort right off the crossbar. And then headed home. Tommy McNamara gets his second of the season after Villa was denied by the crossbar. The full ability from Iriola. Tony Taylor gets involved. Still keeping his skill inside the box, but David Villa with the strike off the cross bar opens up the opportunity. Charlesport cannot stop it. And who's there in the right place at the right time? Tommy McNamara once again. That was a tight angle. Exactly the polar opposite. They've been predominantly attacking on the right side. Montivero, camera! Nothing impact in the 49th. Just not able to stay with them is Harrison Awful. It seemed to be a little bit of a size mismatch. But he made no mistake, did he? Finding Salinas. He's got Londo. Americon. Thompson in the box. Lobs for Londo. Drops it off for MPG. And Tommy Thompson could not get a foot on it. This one dropped off for a shot by Mattia Lashe, which takes the deflection and goes in. Goal, San Jose. Again, and that's a quality pass to Mattia Lashe. Yes, he took the deflection, but he has to take the shot from there. And it's a goal that I think the Earthquakes needed in this game. It's a big goal for the Earthquakes. Well done, Mattia Lashe. You go or take you down for a foul. Quick restart here by the Galaxy. Goes into Keane, back out to McGee, back post, trying to get it in to Van Damme. Field maestros for these two teams. Another guy that shows you the necessary work rate is Kai Kamara. Mara to the outside. Towards the front. Finley! <laughs> Most of the play had been the other direction. Great run for Mira. Ball deflects free. And look at the pace of Finley. Looks like it actually took a deflection off of Kai Kamara. 
And if that's the case, Kamara will probably end up getting credit. Translated out into MLS. Rosenberry, a good young college defender as well. Trivet, Marquez, and Fabinho, the back four. And then in midfield, plenty of strength with Carroll and Nogueira. Ball comes in, a mistake played in. That's a goal. across from a wide area there you see how big that gap is between the goalkeeper and the defenders but that's a ball that should be dealt with Ramos will be furious with himself and you can see immediately head in hand but credits to Pong he doesn't give up on the play gets in behind Aurelian Cole. Kansas City for that game came on as a sub he's been stuck in Trinidad so I imagine this uh, weather is going to be a shot to the system Jones well would you believe it the script has been written for Jermaine Jones on his rapid debut comes from a throw in down the far side and then Williams does well to turn his body and get a great ball pulled across the face of the goal and Jermaine Jones finds himself in space and just guides the finish low and hard past the goalkeeper he will be a get Toledo's history interesting battle of nerves here Kaká to take it and Kaká makes it right down the middle and the Lions are roaring early for me, it's not a penalty. Ref calls it. Kaká steps up and gets the 40,000 plus here at the Citrus. Rescue points. Last season from these sort of positions. That's a good service. Oh, and it's up the ground. Still a spin down. Well, there's your answer. Fabian Espindola hauling DC United level. And Sangman Bath it was who couldn't haul in the cross. And in his three years as a starter at the Philadelphia Union, Zach McMath had good numbers, 25 shutouts, but it was his command of the 18 that always raised the question, is he a starter in Major League Soccer? Coming off his line is a huge Achilles heel for Zach McMath. This is a simple ball for Zach McMath to handle and a gift given to DC United and Fabian Espindola. They're right back into this game at home, 1-1. He'll get uh, not quite double that tonight, whenever it is that he comes on. But it's not going to be for a moment. It's a Rudy! It's the post! There's been no luck for FC Dallas tonight. They finally get a piece of luck there. The shot off the post, off the back. At the midway point of the first half here at BC Place. Pedro Morales up against Joe Willis. And Morales scores his fourth goal of the season. All from the penalty spot. And the Whitecaps take the lead. That corner takes it with confidence. Smacks it in the bottom corner. Wheels away to celebrate.